One come on! This one's mine! Oh, oh, the win. Celestial oh, Matter! Looks like it could be worth something. outside the city than they are inside. Yeah, it's all ruined. Houses and everything else. Even if it was all in the name of beating the Renans, this is... Woo! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Look, Hoodle! One of your buddies! Retreat if you know what's good for you! Go get him! Run, 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 run. Raging Cascade of Blast! Dance in the wind! Air Thrust! These ones can run rings around us! Bullseye! Leave the ensnaring to me! What? Yeah! And the pummeling to me! Now you see what I can do! Finish this! Ice Alpin! Astral Energy! Say no more! Shut! Well done! This should come in handy when crafting weapons. Something. Why didn't the Renans take advantage of all of these ruins around here? It seems like a missed opportunity. Most likely because it would be inefficient for harvesting astral energy. That's what dictates the current positions of each realm's capital. Plus, Renans are averse to using anything that belonged to the Danans. Imagining things, or are there a lot of big zoogles in this area? No, I noticed that too. There's plenty of food and water to go around here. For a zoogal, this just might be paradise. Great, that's exactly what I wanted to hear.
Let's Rage see what we've got. Spread! Lightning to death! Ice prison! Here's the evil. One more. Celestial Banner! SG Airborne Scoundrel. Sounds like a job for you to eat early to me. No complaints here. I'm ready. Here I go. In an instant. Impact block. We work well together. Like a finely timed block. Back into the ground. Close fight. Celestial Banner. Take No further. Go get him. All right. It's showtime. Easy peasy, ha huh, hoodle.
Can you hide it, son? For me? I'll take you all off! You can't find The enemy needs to be still! Now don't see about that! Let them can handle this! Do it, kid! We've turned the tables on them! There are still more left! Right, actually, no time to hold back! How are your weapons holding up? That's not to give me any idea. These little ones are hardly worth our time. Less talking, more pummeling. Cut them apart to your heart's content. Behold! The Earth's pulse! Tectonic vision! Lightning condemned! First aid! Laser blade! Laser blade! Laser blade! Laser blade! Laser blade! Laser Thank you. Armor won't save you. Not in your dreams. Here, let me help. Don't you Go get it. Dating pile. Celestial banner. One last one. Take that. Resonate with the earth. Healing do they not teach you to say thank you in Ghana? Not to a Ren in the zone. No further. Celestial Banner! Ice Prison! Electric! Eat dirt! Pushing yourself and get behind us! I'll be right as rain in no time! So here's what I need to do! Ice prison! Here's what I need to do! 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 Coming through! Ha! Now! Scarlet Inferno! right. We should fall back to regroup and try again later. There's history in the air here. I can smell it. I don't... Smell anything? Don't encourage him. Is it just me, or is anyone else peckish?
like we're gonna lose to small fry. You can ease off yourself. Pot calls the kettle black. Good advice for all of us, to be honest. What's this thing? What do you say we check back in on the ranch? Is there a reason you're looking at me so intently? Shion's kind of turned into the local fashion critic in our group. So this is what lords like you wear. Certainly looks the part. I can tell at a glance what high quality everything is. It's not often Shion's that impressed. You wear a lot of rings too, don't you? They were a gift. Purchased rather cheaply, or so I was told. What's your definition of cheap, exactly? I believe it was around 100 to 200,000 gold. What?! If my wolf head cost 10 gold, then that'd mean... Holy crap! They cost a thousand times more?! 10,000 times more! If he sold those things off, 
I bet he could build a damn mansion with them. At the very least, he'd never go hungry the rest of his life. You're all beginning to sound alarmingly interested in my rings. Hmm. What's up, Kisara? You look concerned. Uh, oh, no, it's just... I'm looking at our finances and they seem to have taken a nosedive. I don't remember us making any big purchases, though. Ah, that may be because I borrowed a small amount to purchase something the other day. I don't think you can call spending more than half of our money a small amount. Half? Yo, Halim, what the hell did you buy? As it so happens, I came upon a rather special object that I've long been searching for. Are you talking about that junk? Uh, I mean, that uh, unique-looking trinket you're holding? Wow, is that a... Indeed. It is a lost artifact from ancient Danon times. Most likely, it was used for some sort of rite or ritual. Ever since we Renans conquered Dana, such objects have been disappearing. I simply want to do my part to help preserve both our people's storied histories. Well, if it's to preserve Danon history, then I guess we can maybe look the other way. Just this once? I don't know. Why spend money on something that won't even keep us fed? More to the point, we all contribute to that money. I don't like the thought of anyone dipping into it without saying anything. You must understand. Had I let that opportunity pass me by, I'd never have come across this item again. Dohalim, maybe no one taught you that money doesn't grow on trees. I may have been a lord, but I realize that much. It's not enough to simply realize it. You have to internalize the concept, too. Even after all this time, you still have no real sense of money. Our funds aren't your personal wallet. We camp outside and eat grass for dinner to try and stretch every last gold we have. You never know when we may need it. Uh, I don't think we're so poor that we have to eat grass or anything. Shut up, Alfin. Shutting. Let's just agree to not spend too much or be too thrifty for our own good. Alfin, your blazing sword draws its power from Xion's Fire Master Core, right? So I'm told. Then why don't you use yours, Dohalim? You mean my Earth Master Core, yes? Yeah, I mean, you still carry it around with you, don't you? I do. Each Master Core contains the astral energy harvested from Dan and slaves over the course of the last three centuries. Though only a select few qualified people, namely the Lords, can wield them. They nevertheless hold too much power to simply abandon. If only the Lords are supposed to be able to use them, how come Alfin and Xion can use theirs? That may be because Xion has embedded the Fire Master Core within her body, something which wouldn't have occurred under normal circumstances. Okay, but why do you still carry yours around? Just as Danans see Master Cores as symbols of the lives and resources robbed from them, so too do I view mine as a symbol of our lasting sins. The pain and agony wrought upon this world by my predecessors, as well as the injustice enabled by my own inaction, are all housed within my Master Core. It is a testament of all that I have done wrong. It cannot ever be used again, nor fall back into the wrong hands. <sighs> <sighs> Dohalim. You didn't differentiate between the deaths of Danans and the deaths of Renans. Danans and Renans both spill blood and languish in agony all the same. I just couldn't bear to hear it any longer. That's all. Little late for that. This looks perfect. Guaranteed to hit the spot. What's wrong, Law? Why do I gotta have a vitamin smoothie? Because you've been eating nothing but meat lately. Your body needs vegetables to stay healthy. Yeah, but does it have to be so concentrated? It's better that way. Even if you hate vegetables, all you have to do is drink it. It's a quick and easy way to get more nutrients. Like you're one to talk, you'll have anything as long as it's spicy. Which that vitamin smoothie isn't. I know its taste leaves a little to be desired, but once you get used to it, it's not so bad. This sludge isn't gonna make me less hungry. I don't know. 
If you downed 10 of them, I bet you'd start feeling pretty full. Are you trying to turn me into an herbivore or something? If I were you, Law, I'd drink it down sooner rather than later. It's going to start tasting bitter if you let it get warm. It's already bitter when it's cold. Come on, Law. It's good for you. Quit complaining and drink it already. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? I noticed you haven't been training Huda lately. Is he doing okay? Yeah, he's fine. He's been catching fish with Kisara, and he seems to be adjusting his diet on his own, so I'm not as worried as before. Maybe that's his way of pitching in, so you don't have to do everything for him. Yeah, maybe. I guess at some point he started taking a shine to everyone too, just like they did to him. You sound like you're okay with that. Yeah, more than okay, really. It feels natural having Hoodle and everyone around. I know what you mean. We all support and take care of each other in our own ways. It's starting to feel like we're almost a family. Huh, I hadn't thought of it like that. So does that make you everybody's dad? Do I really look that old to you? Huh? You don't like that? Okay, how about you be the big brother? Shion is the big sister. And Kisara can be our mom! Well, then how about Dohalim for the dad? I don't really get that kind of vibe from Dohalim. He's more like an uncle. An old uncle, who's too preachy and snarky for his own good sometimes. And as for Law... Hmm... Well, Hoodle took the little brother role, and Law's definitely, definitely not the dad. Hmm... This is hard. Oh! Law can be the pet dog! A dog? Do dogs really count as part of a family? Of course they do! If an owl can be part of our family, so can a dog. <laughs> when you think about it like that, we have a pretty fun family. Yeah, a pretty big one as well. That's why I like it so much. I wish we didn't have to do anything dangerous. I just want to keep traveling the world with you guys the way we are right now. You okay? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Actually, I think I'm gonna go practice with Hoodle for a bit. Good night. Another day, another gold. I hope we catch something decent. Indeed. Hungry bellies are counting on this. <sighs> Reel it in. Boy, that's a bit of a letdown. Could have been worse. At least you caught something. <laughs> All right. I'll catch something bigger next time. Could have been worse. At least you caught something. Ha! Reel it in.
get a good meal out of this fella. That fish put up a fight. Good catch. Is this what I think it is? I didn't think I'd catch something this big. Remarkable. You're top of the food chain. I've got something. That wasn't much of a challenge. That went pretty well. Ha! I've got something. Boy, that's a bit of a letdown. Looks like a pretty energetic fish. <laughs> okay, change of plans. Where should I cast my line? All right. Well, that wasn't much of a challenge. That went pretty well. Mahog Sar, a land where the winds scar and the clouds stretch far. Kisara, what is he doing? Reciting a poem, apparently. Just let him be.
I wonder just how many people have been saved by Xion in some form. I'm impressed. There's rumors flying around about people being saved by a Renin vision of beauty. The vision of beauty? That's a bit much. Alfin had better stay on his toes. Where do I come into this? I wonder what we can make with this. If you can't decide, I'll have it raw. Hey, wait! Don't eat that! We should be able to cook here. I always love the sound of hammers banging away. I feel all bent out of shape. I know what you mean. Hard to settle down after seeing all those ruins. We fought hard to help liberate the people of Dana, but every realm we've been to along the way could have easily turned out like this. When powerful forces collide, the destruction they leave gets that much worse. So we've been lucky things haven't turned out worse up until now? Regardless, I don't want to see this realm get messed up any more than it already is. We have to capture this lord ourselves no matter what. Mind if I join you, Law? See you guys tomorrow. I feel pretty refreshed after that sleep. This place gives me the creeps. You really think that lord is hiding out here? Be careful. The air is dense with astral energy. Something's not quite right about this place. 
How are you able to pick up on all this stuff anyway? Is it something that all Astral Arts wielders can do? I must admit, I'm curious myself. Perhaps her den and bloodline has something to do with it. <laughs> Dohalim. Apologies. I meant no disrespect. Stay alert, everyone. There's a good chance that she already knows we're here. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. Hmm. I suppose if you're a lord going into hiding, a forest is one place to turn. We don't know for sure she's here. Keep looking. Be what we were told to get, isn't it? See over there. Retreat if you know Let what's good for you. Valuable as I think it is?
For the hideout of a runaway lord, this place is a lot bigger than I was expecting. Do you think she had it built with that in mind? No. Personally, I think this used to be part of a Danon castle or fortress of some sort. How can you tell? For one thing, it doesn't look like a storehouse. For another, it's old and you can tell it was built to let people hole up inside of it. Huh. I'll take your word for it. I don't know the first thing about brick. You know, I've always thought you were a smart little cookie. But damn, Rinwell, you really know your stuff. It's no big deal. I've just read a lot of books is all. If this is meant to be a castle, there wasn't much to it above ground. Are there such things as underground castles? There probably used to be more of it above ground. That is, until 300 years ago. So the main structure must have been lost during the time of the invasion, with only the underground part remaining. And then this Lord decided to use it for her own purposes. Have I got that right? But what reason could she have for using this place instead of staying back in her own castle? That's what we're here to find out. Whatever it is, she's up to no good. Right. It's all the more reason we need to hurry up and find her before it's too late. improving. What's this thing? This place is full of weird machinery, old and new. Just what the hell was she doing here? By all appearances, the sort of unsavory research she wouldn't want to see divulged. Even to other Remy? That's a scary thought. Heal! I owe you one! Not on my watch! Healing circle! I can carve through one! Why 
make you human. To stop you dying? Uh, I'm ready! Dopamine! Light burst four! Radiant Genesis! You don't mess around! Flying free! What if it just sits still? Shira, can you take care of them? Nothing! Astral energy! Say no more! Our superiority was undeniable. It feels invigorating to dominate a battle. I was certain I saw you yawn. Come now, I'm certainly not that relaxed. This place goes pretty deep underground. It was probably built that way so it could still be used even if the above ground portion got destroyed. Perhaps that's why it's still here, and why it was made into her hideout. It would certainly stand to reason. It would appear we can descend down where the railing has fallen apart. What? Are you serious? By all appearances, it would seem she was researching something here. You think so? What kind of research could she have been doing in a place like this? Your guess is as good as mine. Hardly anything the likes of us could imagine. Hmm. If we assume it was because this area is rich in astral energy, and it's possible she could have been doing any number of things. Indeed. Renan castles and spirit vessels are often found in such locations. Intriguingly, Danon ruins are also known for their abundant energy. You Renans attacked us. Don't act like you're just some... Sheesh, enough already! This isn't the place to pick a fight over this. How can you be so calm listening to all of this? You suffered at the hands of guys like him too! I mean, I wouldn't say I'm calm. Hmm. <laughs> Combination, aren't we? What can I say? I had a good partner.
Who's in a bright and shiny mood? <laughs> 